This is a Swedish M96 Mauser rifle made in 1901 by the Carl Gustav plant. As you can see on the receiver, the manufacturing date, the uh, Carl Gustav logo, which is one of three armories that made this particular rifle, the others being Orbendorf in Germany, as well as uh, Husqvarna in the later years. As you can see, the Swedish crown here, here, and is also the Swedish crown on the follower underneath the bolt. Let's discuss a few features about this rifle, shall we? The rifle has a uh, adjustable blade, adjusted normally um, by, by the armories themselves according to how high the gun shot. And of course your cleaning rod, your barrel band, and also here's your bayonet lug where the uh, bayonet would come onto. Overall length of the barrel is 29 inches. Your sight setup is just a, a notch sight that you can see through here. And it's adjustable up to 600 yards like so. I mean you lift it up. You have um, about 2,000 meter for a battle sight. So um, very optimistic but very capable in this particular rifle. The back end here features a milled butt plate, steel, typical Mauser stuff there. Here if you have your armory disc where the Swedish um, armorers kept track of the deterioration of the rifle. Th there's no overslog, which means, overslog means hold over for the sights. There is none here, so it hits right on. Just a little high at about 100 yards. Here is the condition of the bore. It looks like here that the condition of the bore isn't great, but in, in my inspection, the bore looks very fantastic, and I was very pleased with it when I went to the range. Now, as we know, the Mauser action is very, very famous, but this particular Mauser action came before the very strong Model 98 action. This is a Model 1896 rifle, and um, the main difference is that the bolt has two locking lugs instead of the three, and it cocks on opening rather than cocks on, I got that wrong, it cocks on closing rather than cocking on opening when you lift the bolt and push it back on later Mausers. Now in this one, there's a follower here that prevents the gun from rechambering as a reminder to the soldier that he is out of rounds. Now to take out the bolt of the gun, there's this lever on this side here that you just um, force it out, take the bolt right out. If I remember correctly, the lugs are here and also an emergency backup lug here. Not quite as strong as the other ones, but very fine for this particular gun and cartridge. And very smooth in a way of operating once you get used to it. Now just to put it back in, you hold the lever, press your follower down, and you are uh, ready to go. And as you can see, the cocking piece stays still when you force it that last bit. That's what cocks the gun. And of course your safety, it's very positive miles of safety straight over and to the right, the gun won't open, and no sear contact, nothing will happen. Turn it over, however, to the left, and you're ready to go. This is the round that the um, Swedish Mauser fires. It's a 6.5 55mm uh, round. It's rimless, 55mm case length, 6.5mm bullet, and it usually comes on five round stripper clips to uh, feed the rifle. Next to it is the 270 Winchester, a popular um, sporting round in the United States. 
today um, the Swedish Mauser cartridge the 6.5 by 55 millimeter is a renowned um, sporting cartridge in Scandinavia as well as worldwide here we have the 7.62 by 54 rimmed Russian round used by communist forces up until the present day and here we have the uh, 22 long rifle for comparison so as you can see the 6.5 doesn't look very big, but it's big for its caliber because of the length of the um, bullet that it fires. And it gives it much better power than its on paper ballistics would show. This cartridge has been used to take everything from um, human beings to polar bear defense, and the 6.5 millimeter rounds were very successful in Africa for big game hunting up to and including elephant. The top ivory hunters often use 6.5 and 7 millimeter bullets to take their largest game on earth, the uh, African elephant. Alright, 200 yards shooting with the Swedish Mauser M96 long rifle using uh, my hand loads. at the 200 yard mark let me show you the results now this is a fly from the first group that I tried they all must have went in this direction because of my side adjustment I aimed for about right here and uh, we got one two three four five six seven eight nine I might have lost the last one yeah ten there we go now, uh, that's uh, plenty good for government work. They all hit the torso target, slammed the guy in the jaw, got him through the chest, two just, above, two, two just below the chest, so you got a dead man. This one would have went right through some guy, and uh, if body armor was right here, I would have finished him off with the last one. Uh, well, time to put up a new target and move on to something else. Thank you guys for watching.